What's going on guys, my name is Arik and this is Dark Souls 2 and in this video I'm going to do a boss guide on the Smelter Demon so he is uh, the first boss of uh, Iron Keep he is optional though so you don't have to fight him but uh, I like to do it so you can bring Lucadale with you into this fight but uh, I'm going to do it alone to demonstrate the boss's moves a little bit better but uh, if I have time for it I will include the clip of me fighting him with Lucadale so this boss has three stages. The first one is uh, right when you enter the boss arena and uh, it's nothing special, it's just his normal fighting stage. And his second stage is the one you saw him enter or start um, a couple of uh, seconds ago. It's where he sort of charges up his uh, belly, sort of. And um, it becomes he becomes more on fire and standing near him now deals fire damage to you or damage to you so uh, if you're low on health and uh, you're trying to heal don't stay close to him if it's uh, in uh, stage 2 or uh, stage 3 and this is stage 3 and uh, he will uh, infuse or imbue his sword on fire and uh, some of his moves will now deal over well all of his moves will now deal fire damage and uh, a couple of them, the downward slam that I just did, will, uh, will create a uh, sort of beam towards you that you have to be aware of. So uh, now I guess we can move on to his move set. <coughs> so the first move is that move right there. It's it, it is his stab attack, and uh, it's not very difficult to dodge. Just uh, when he sees about to use it, just roll to the left of him and you should dodge it all the time. Be aware of rolling towards him when he does that uh, because you might take damage when you're close to him. <coughs> As you there, rolling to the left always works for me. So next up is his uh, double combo which is when he swings his uh, weapon from uh, left to right and uh, follows it up with a uh, slam which will uh, create the that sort of fire beam that I was talking about earlier and uh, next up is his uh, triple combo which is when he swings his uh, sword right to left and uh, well he starts off by swinging his sword light right to left and then left to right again and uh, then follows it up with the downward slab and he doesn't always follow it up with uh, the, the slam attack, but uh, it's this one right here. You sh should be aware of that one. And uh, well, I guess you can uh, follow it up with his jump attack as well, apparently. <laughs> so uh, be aware that uh, he might do three attacks. And <laughs> right here, I I was pretty sure I was gonna die, but uh, somehow I got I got out of that uh, sticky situation. And uh, be aware of that though, don't roll towards the the walls because he can trap you and you can also be glitched into the wall sort of, that, that way that you can't uh, move <laughs> and uh, then you're pretty much fucked. So that's the downward slam I was talking about. <coughs> so next up is his uh, single slam attack which is when he... Uh, he, uh, I don't think he jumps, but uh, at least he slams his sword in the ground. Uh, let's see if he does it. Uh, it doesn't look like it. But uh, it's pretty much not that one, but uh, he slams his sword in the ground and uh, shoots that beam I was talking about. It's this one right here, and it's got a very long delay. So uh, be careful of rolling too early or too late, otherwise you will get hit like I did. And uh, right about here, I thought I was going to die because I had very low health left and uh, only one Estus. But uh, thankfully, I had some uh, old Radiant Life Gems I could use. So, uh, as you saw there, I almost got stuck again, and uh, <laughs> that would surely have killed me. So, uh, let's finish up his uh, moveset. Uh, so, finally, he has a. AOE fire blast attack, which I believe he did right now actually. Uh, 
He jumps up in the air and sort of stabs the ground and uh, follows it up with a uh, fire blast or <laughs> not a fire blast, AOE attack. And uh, it's this one, except he doesn't do it right now. Uh, but uh, I wouldn't. Uh, if you see him jumping up in the air and stabbing the ground, I just roll back just to be safe. Um, because he hits pretty hard if you're uh, within the radius of his blast. So, uh, let's see if we can uh, get him to use the attack again. I believe he's gonna do right now, but he don't use the AoE, of course. <coughs> but uh, it, it seems like it's gonna leave a lot of time for you to get in a lot of hits, actually, because it just stands there, sort of, after stabbing the ground. But uh, <laughs> if you do run up to him, trying to hit him, he probably will hit you. So, uh, as you saw um, a couple of seconds ago, he might f use his uh, AoE attack at the end of his uh, triple combo. So, be careful of that. But uh, that's pretty much been it. Um, I didn't have enough time to uh, show you the clip of me fighting him with Lucadil, but. Uh, after the patch that came out uh, a couple of weeks ago, Lucatil is much stronger now, so uh, she can survive on her own <laughs> in this fight. Uh, actually, does make the fight a lot easier, so I guess that's good if you're struggling. Another thing I should mention is that uh, if you're having trouble with uh, all of the fire, you can use a uh, uh, what's it called? A germ great shield, I believe it's called. It is dropped by uh, the germ warriors in Doors of Pharaohs, and it has a 100% physical and fire damage reduction, which uh, makes it a very good uh, shield for this fight. But uh, that's pretty much been it. Um, <clears throat> I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.